Mr. Joseph, congrats on your reinstatement. Thank you, sir. I missed you every day. You're the new sex ed teacher. Who? Why do you have me teaching sex ed? Yeah, it's a new city requirement. I don't take it seriously, so it seemed like a good match. That's fair. So, now that we got that out the way, a security guard reported seeing you in a confrontation with a delivery man yesterday morning. Who was that? You just got beef with mailman now? No, no, no. I, I, have, I have great respect for mailmen. Mr. Joseph, we have security cameras all over this building. Don't try to play me. I'm not one of these kids. No, I, I know. You're, you're an adult. Because we have a responsibility to report this type of stuff to the authorities to protect the students. I, I like to say, if you see something, say something. If that quote works for you, look. You just got reinstated. And considering everything that you've put me through in the past year, understand, your job could be taken from you just like that. I, I understand, and, and you, I'm going to make you very proud teaching sex to kids. You do not have to worry about me. I hope I don't, Mr. Joseph. Because if I find out that you've been putting our kids or anyone at this school at risk, I'll see to it that you don't get any more second chances. So I'm going to ask you again. Yeah, oh, boy. Who was in your face on school grounds so I can do my job? You really need a name? You, do you really need a job? Okay, yeah, uh, that was Drew, Zana's uncle. He showed up to encourage me to keep an eye on Zana and, and dropped off some, some packages. Good. Welcome back. I get the police on the phone, make a report so we can get this all squared away. Wait, 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 are you sure you have to... Is that going to be a problem? Well, you wouldn't use my name, right? What? You just missed Dan. Get out of here. Okay. Um... You'll email me the sex ed leave, stuff? Leave okay. That. Okay. Well, I put my insulin. <laughs>